I had a very unusual way of coming to the show in that I was at a director's dinner and I met Jill Soloway and she was actually having difficulty casting the role of Josh and I was trying to actually help her come up with ideas as to who should play Josh. I know a lot of the guys that are his age in town and um, it was no, 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 no. And after we had been talking for about 30 minutes, she pointed at me and she was like, it's you. You're you're him. And, you know, I, at first I would, I don't do a lot of acting and I, I have my own show on HBO and I was like, I can't, I, there's no way. But the more we talked about the show, how deep it went, the depth of family dynamics, the challenges that it was presenting to society, um, I decided to go in the next morning and I read with her. It was an incredibly fluid, exciting process. I got to improvise. Her writing is amazing. And um, we made it happen. The Pfefferman family dynamic uh, it would first be characterized by yelling, um, a lot of loud talking, a lot of making fun of each other. Uh, Josh's role in the family is, I, I believe he's the, the greatest outlier of the family. He is functioning as a music producer shark who's just trying to get his stuff done and he only drops in occasionally to sort of check in on everybody. The writing is very profound and it's very subtle. So. As actors, we're allowed to sort of participate in, in the creation of those secrets. You know, they're lightly referred to and they're tangentially referred to. So we get a sense of what they may be and we may start inquiring. Um, and sometimes the writers and Jill don't exactly know what it is. So we're dealing with big, deep stuff. But the universe that Jill has created is so contained and so true that it, it all feels really natural. and. You know, I create a giant inner world, and usually when I come and share it with Jill and the writers, they're like, yeah, that's dead on. That's exactly the type of thing that we're going for. And some of the stuff comes out. Some of the stuff doesn't come out. There's so much stuff that's under the surface, and we, do it, we did a lot of preparation as a family to really congeal as a family and to really create our backstories and our, and our full character backgrounds that, um, I, I mean, you know, we're at the end of season one and I personally have a lot of secrets for Josh that haven't come out yet. Josh has never felt that his father, Mort, was a, was a real father. He was absent. He wasn't really interested in Little League and all the, th even music, all the things that Josh has been interested in along the way and he's never felt that he could go to his dad for advice. Um, and he also, I think, believes that his dad has always been a bit of a prima donna in that she, he wants to be the center of attention and, you know, he finds it absurd that the father with three children who are, have a lot of needs also needs to be the center of attention. So um, Josh's first reaction when his uh, dad starts transitioning to be a woman um, is that he thinks it's an attention-getting tactic. Um, he even has a line in the, in the movie, which is, um, he had no talent when he was a guy. What makes him think he has talent all of a sudden now that he's a woman when he's like about to present at a talent show? Um, so Josh is genuinely skeptical of the reality of this transformation. Um, and when it starts to sink in that it is a real thing, it's a true experience um, for his parent, he, he it really rocks him to the core. My character's name is Joshua Pfefferman. He is a music producer. He is extremely insecure and extremely confident at the same time. He needs a lot of female approval. He gets it on a very temporary, uh, quick basis. Um, I th he's grown up in a family that uh, was dominated by women. Uh, he is in love with his sisters and his mother, and those are the primary relationships in his life, so it's very difficult for him to create anything permanent with any women outside of that relationship. And in general, he's trying to 
establish himself as a music mogul. He wants to create an empire, um, but he has very few skills and he has a lot of insecurity and a lot of fears and it's, it's hard for him to do it.